then there is no reaction of unhappiness. Sadhguru says, you are having disappointment because you are making an appointment with desire. So if you have made an appointment with desire, you will have disappointment. So, move away from that. And Right. Right. Uh, think in the right time. You want to do this, you offer your actions to God. Not because there is no other order, but you offer your actions to God of love. You offer your actions to God of love. Then your actions are pure pain. But if you are going to offer actions of love for yourself or for somebody else, it is not pure because there is a relationship with somebody else. We are doing it for somebody else. That somebody else may not want it, then we are disappointed. We are doing it for somebody else. That somebody else may not appreciate it or may say you not done it properly, then we get disappointed. So when you are dealing with things which are not in your control, and you are allowing that to save your life, then you are unhappy. The Guru says, drive the vehicle of your life yourself. Don't let somebody else drive it for you. Now what we do, we are, our desires, our children, our friends, all of them decide things for us. Instead of that, what we do, we should come out of that and say, we are doing all this, we are associated with the children, we are associated with the friends, all that exists. But it is in, it's in the light of God. God's light is falling on. So God's light is falling on it, it becomes bright. If God's light is not falling on it, it will not be bright. It will be having the, not the light of Sattva, but the light of Tamas, the light of Rajas, all that will be dark light and fire, light of fire and like this, that only will be that. So he says, Shubha Shubha Parayana Eva Mokshe Karma Parayana Now we are tied up with this, and all our actions are tied up with so, so, Shubha Ashubha, these two things, all our actions are tied up. Are we going, we are going to, uh, to see this person, will he do something for us? We are going to see that person, Will he listen to us? They are coming to see me. I am going to do this for them. So always there is so many relationships with so many people. But Bhagavan says, don't want all this. You have a relationship only with me. Our relationship is only with God. Then what happens? There is no response. This morning I was talking to the person who was asking. So, I said, Sadhguru, once one lady came to the, uh, to Sadhguru and said, you are un- I am very unhappy, I am not a wife in the house, I am only a servant, I am a slave, I am working for them. My children and my husband, they are only seeing what you are taking care of me. And this lady was very powerful, very rich lady, they are only seeing what she said this. So then, Sadhguru said, whatever you do, don't do it for them. You are keeping the house well, you are cleaning the place, all that. Don't do it for them. You feel they are using you. But you use the situation to please Sri Krishna. You think I am doing, sweeping this house for Sri Krishna. I am doing this work for Sri Krishna. So what happens is that Krishna will not disappoint you. You will not get disappointed with Sri Krishna, but you will get disappointed with worldly people. Because like how you are having desires, uh, like how you are wishing that worldly people, other people should listen to you, they are expecting you to listen to them. So, this is the situation when you are dealing with the world as a source of joy, then you are going to be disappointed. If you are going to put your trust in human beings, then 
you will be disappointed because the human beings are putting their trust in you to get their things done, to do what they want. They want you to do something, you want them to do something. There is a difference of ideas, so there is a disappointment. They are not able to do what you want, so then they are disappointed. So what does he say? So he says, you break these bonds of action. Karma Vandana, you are having to break it. How do you break it? By this Sanyasa Yoga. So he is telling Arjuna this. Arjuna is a Ganesha. He is telling him you practice this form of Sanyasa of taking all actions and freeing it of that sense of I. Then you can live with everything. He says, Ravid Vesha Vipta is to Vishaya Nidrej Jaran Atma Vashya Vidaya Atma Prasarva Adhikar Sati. So you are he says you continue. You are uh, living in the world, seeing the sense objects, experiencing the sense objects, but take out the raga and vesha. How does the raga and vesha come? Because of Aham, because of the ego. That I want this to happen, I know that. So take that off and offer it to Bhagavan. So I don't want it, Bhagavan wants it. So therefore Bhagavan is going to do it. Bhagavan is going to give me what is appropriate for me and I am going to do everything for Bhagavan so that he is happy with me. So then it's a relationship in which there is no unhappiness. He says everybody can do this, he says. So it's a simple idea. He says Manmana, in the last verse of the chapter he says Manmana Bhagavan Gattho Madhyaji Maam Namaskuru Maami Vaishya Ishtavai Mahaparana Matparayana Keeping me Matparayana He says Matpara Matparayana Keeping me is the most important thing That's the thing which we don't do in life We keep various other things We say yes, ultimately everything goes to God We have to go to God But that is only in our minds, in our mind we have accepted it. In our hearts we have not accepted it. When we accept it with our hearts, we become different. <coughs> so he says, Manmana Baba Mantakto. So fill your mind with me. So this was the two said, just like God man you like. You are doing the action, but you are doing it through God. So therefore it becomes purified. <coughs> Matbakto, be my devotee. When you say it's not that God wants devotees, he says, but Manmana, Baba Matbakto, you fill your mind with me, be my devotee. So he says, how to relate to me? If you relate to me as God is the man who is going to give me what I want, then it's not going to help you. So you get the point of God. Vishwan used to say, I have no expectation even from God. But if you expect God to do your work, then God will, you are going to be disappointed. Because God has to do what is good for you. God will not give you what is nice for you, what is pleasant for you. God will give you what is good for you. So, what you must do is that you must understand what is good for you and accept it when it comes. Are you ready to take it when it comes and God gives you something? That's what you must ask yourself. Are you, is your mind ready to accept? Things which you don't feel are so pleasant to you. Because your karma is put you in a certain circumstance. But if you're going to take it, that, that is something difficult, then you are not going to be happy. But if you say that, Manmana Bhagavad Gita says, fill your mind with me, then every way you see is God. The circumstance you don't like, you see the situation which God has allowed it to happen. If God has allowed it to happen, then you are able to manage the situation. With God's grace, God loves you and conquers the world. If you have know that, then you can do it. So, Manmana Bhagavad Gita, 
Madhyaki Mahasamaskaru. See, when we do prayers, we do it with so many desires in our mind. So when we do it with so many desires in our mind, we are going to be disappointed. So now we are going to take it that we have not done with desires. So if it is good for us, God is going to help us. Then there is no problem. But if we are going to think of it that I prayed to God for this and He didn't give it to me. How mean of it is such a uh, difficult person. Then we are going to be uh, we are going to be unhappy. But if we are going to look at it as God's himself, these circumstances I have been given. And if God has kept me in these circumstances, then two things are certain. One is if he's allowing this me to be here, there's something for me to learn in this place. Secondly, when he keeps me here, I have got the strength to live in this situation. How oh, difficult it is. When Vishnu Mohan was this before with Mahasamadhi, he was in hospital, he had a ventilator and mouth, he could not talk. Here, we were communicating, we kept the pen, he used to write what he had to write. Then he told me, I never knew I can endure so much of pain. I never knew I could endure so much of pain. Yet I'm able to handle it. God will never do us something which we cannot handle. So, when he was, even at that time he was able to see God's hand, that God will not allow us to do so, go through something which we cannot, don't have the strength to go through it. So, when you think of it like that, as God's personal in your situation, and your situation is your karma has taken you there, but there is something to learn. That's it, it is going to Yamaloka, what does he say? Among many people, I am the first. Mahanamemi, Prasama. And many, among many people, I am the second. What is it that God wants to achieve by sending me here? So there is a confidence that I am here for a different purpose. If I am going to be here, I should be able to do something. So God has put us in difficult circumstances. There is something for me to learn here. And I have got respect from God to say. So he says, Manmana Baba Manbakto Madhyanji Maam Namaskuru. So our ideas should be directed to go only after him. Madhyanji Maam Namaskuru. Then you will come to me, Maam Ayvaisha, Istavai Vata Maspanayama. So, your heart must be steady in that, that that parayana, that God is the supreme being. Now, at all times, everybody says God is supreme in the name of all, thank you God, I'm promising, I'm swearing, God is supreme, so therefore he must do such things. But we think that God also can do what we want, we don't understand that, we don't regard that as the most important thing. Matparayana, matpara. Then what happens is that we weigh our actions and see how does that go. So that's what Sadhguru says. Let, just let God manage your life. God is the <coughs> deciding factor in our life. We must take it like that. We are going to do something. We are going to do it. Does God like it? This is something which we can offer to God. So, what Sri Krishna has done is he's taken a simple idea and made it a powerful means of crossing over difficulties. He's taken the idea of praying to God and asking Him for help. He's taken that, he's made something which can transform, change lives. He says, fill your mind with me. That is there in order to listen to basic things of God, but he has made it into a systematic means of attainment. He has made it into a program by which we can attain God. He says, 
Will be aware with me and be my devotee. Immediately that is promised because the devotion will go to God. So if you feel aware with him, your devotion will go. Then, Madhyaji, make your offerings to me, your prayers, your worship, your puja, everything is aligned to him. It's not aligned to our wishes. We are not praying for something. We are saying, if God wishes, let him do this to me. That's how we are not saying, God, please do this to me. We are linking our request to the wisdom that God will look after us. Param Namaskuru, that's the important Namaskara, and Namaskara is an important way of relating to God. When we do Namaskara, we are putting ourselves down and we are allowing His grace to flow into our body. The word Namaha, Namaskara comes from Namaha, and the word Namaha comes from Vidam Namaha. This is not for us. When we do Puja, we say, I mean, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. Shriya, Priyata, Dhamma, Dhamma. Let Lakshmi be less happy. This is not for me. So, when we make offerings, we say that. So, when we do pranam, we are saying Namaskara. When we offer our salutation, we say Namaskara. Namaha, Om Namo Narayana. Om is not for me, it is for Narayana. So we are offering ourselves to Narayana. We are offering ourselves to Shiva. When we say Om Namo Shivaya. So when we do that, when we do that Namaskara, we are filling ourselves with God's grace. We are aligning ourselves physically also with Him. When we think of Him, when we say Namaha, when we say that mantra almost invariably end with Namaha, then we are, but each time we are removing that self which is inside us and bringing in God's name. So each time we say that mantra, we get purified. What is inside us is taken out. And God is comes back. So this Namaskara, the sound of Namaskara, of Namaha, that fills our mind. And it is with the Omkara. The Omkara is the first name of God. The first expression, Tasyavastha, Pranava. Pranava is the, first, the word which embodies God. So with Omkara and Namaskara, we can do Ahamkara. Then only we can attain God. So as long as this Ahamkara is there, we cannot attain God. So he says, do Namaskara, but they are the Mam Namaskara. Mami Vaishyasi. He says this again. Later he says, Mami Vaishyasi Satyam Te. So he says, Mami Vaishyasi. That is with a steady mind. We have a steady mind to go. So what Sri Sri Sattu says is, just let God manage their life. So the most important idea is that we call it. Once one person was worrying about the future, Sattu said, tell him to take hands of the steering wheel. Let God drive his life. Let God decide that. So when that person heard it, he surrendered and said, I am not going to worry, I am not going to push myself to go for it, right? And immediately, within a few days, the whole thing got settled. It's a small thing that God asks that we should keep our mind fully occupied with him. If we keep our mind fully occupied with him, then he can do something for us. If our minds are going, the mind can hold either the word or God. So, if the world is there, God cannot come. If God is there, then the world will change. But then, how can we live life in the world without the world coming into our mind? So he says, transform. Let, let the world be there, but as a form of God. That's what the process. 
Once a devotee, he went to the temple of Guruvayur, Sri Krishna and Guruvayur. Guruvayur is a sacred place in the south, in the south west of India. So, he went to the temple and he was praying. Then he went to the temple and he was praying. Then he went to the temple and he was praying. Then he went to the temple and he was praying. Then he was praying and he found that he had lost his watch. Now, that was an expensive watch and he was attached to it. So he started wondering, where did I get it? Where did I get it? Where did I get it? Then his mind goes, his prayer mind thinking about this. Sadhu has asked me to come here, pray here in the temple. So since we have come to the temple to pray and to think of God, I shouldn't be thinking about my watch. So he said, I will not think about the watch. He took it and then put it out of his mind, the question of the watch. A few minutes later, over the public address system announcement came. A watch has been found. The watch looks like this. And we will order coming back. So for this to happen, his idea of yoga shema, I must hold this with me, had to be given. Then God did look after his yoga shema. So this idea that we grew up your pool, then God will finish for you. Once Sri Krishna went to Yashoda Maya and said, Give me Vata. So she said, You take Vata. It's there. I'm busy. You take Vata. Then Sri Krishna went off to me and said, No, you give me. You give me. So then finally she said, Okay, it's good. What I put in his hand. So then when he came outside, Balrama said, What is your plan? Something is going on in your mind. You are not a person who waits for people to give you water. You won't take the water every time. That is a big problem with you. So now you are asking for water. So please, Krishna showed his hand like this. See, my hands are so small, how much water can I take? <laughs> but Mama's hands are big, so when she gives me, I get so much more. <laughs> so similarly, with us, I did like to tell you something of Sadhu's teachings. I have not done it very well, I know, but I hope that it will be useful to all of you. And the Sri Krishna will fill in our hands with this button. Sri Krishna promised to us, she to us. Any questions, anybody wants to ask something? And ask the Hindi also, I try and That is 
some people that want to be a new process. So we should look at that. When we are looking at an action, we can look at what we are doing. We should evaluate. Constantly we should be evaluating our action. Why are we doing this action? We are living in the world. We have to live with everybody. We are living in the world. We are part of society. We have got duties to everybody. So when we do an action, why are we doing the action? So, who is our Daniel? We are the same. Why are we doing this? Why are we not doing this? So we must understand that. So how we should ask ourselves, um, we should ask ourselves, why are we doing this? So, why are we doing this? So, constant self-awareness that we should always go active the questioning. So, I say, Sardhaniya Ka Bhav Continuously without break This way, there is not much Difficult to take it. Bahut Roshni is actually having to say that. But, Abhyas say why? We have to do it again and again. Ek din hote hai, or ek din nahi hote. But, we have to make this happen every day. So, Abhyas ka ta hai. Disappointment hote hai, so we are doing it. Aaj, you know. Action that's a new time, good time. But that is a good thing for us. When we know that we have done wrong things, then we are able to see it in correct aspects. So, we are all doing wrong things because of lack of energy. So, it's not a big lack of energy. We are having a lot of stuff. But we are not applying that energy. We must bring it to our life. We bring it into our life by Abhyasa and by that. We have to think this is the good thing to do. We must do it. Then temptations hote hai, distraction hote hai. So, humko karne ka, karne ko kuch prayas hote hai. Special difficult people to make sure. So, we must look at the bad points of Wrong action. We say, "Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, we are having so many difficulties in our life." So then, with constantly doing okay, sir, why not we do? Then we will be able to do okay, sir. We can again and again keep the correct attitude and be able to come up. Things will be better. In that he says about so many people, he says that 
they have Kshatriyas who have become uh, Brahmanas because of devotion and the spiritual learning. And another Kshatriya has become a Vaishya because he was only interested in agriculture. So, Satyavadya is the uh, frequent. You can move according to your activities. But Jati, Jati is permanent. So Jati is permanent. Who has done it? Bhagavan has done it. We created ourselves also because we wanted to have groups to protect ourselves. On Guruji, on one side, in the society, they are trying to create a classless society. But at the same time, people who are stoned, people who are stoned have been believing in caste very much. And as a result of that, the downtrodden, the Kshutras, they are the really sufferers. Uh, that is because of a wrong idea that Bhagavan is supporting this idea of higher than lower caste. He never said Brahman is higher than Shudra. He never said that. He said they are all parts of the body. They are all parts of the uh, body of society. But... <laughs> महाराज जी एक जो कर्म से शिव की ऊंच नीच गति होती है ऐसा भी शास्त्रीय अनुमोदन है तो एक कर्म से जो ऊंच नीच गति होती है तो उनसे वर्ण व्यवस्था में कोई चेंज आता है या नहीं आता है कर्म से धर्मा कमस्टो कर्मा जाति कमस्टो फैमिली all the groups of families they came together for self protection against other people. So that created that. So caste is not class, is what our own case. Caste we create. Then everywhere we find everywhere in the world for protect self protection can be they are coming together, they are protecting themselves, they are creating a group. That group will fight other group. In India, we have uh, casteism fighting. In Africa, they have tribalism fighting. In the uh, US, they have racism. Like this, everywhere the people will create one group, they, and this is mine, that is something. I am in the Paravaji, Dalaram, Lagu Chetasam, Udhari Charitraram, to Vasurega Kutumba. So, we think this is ours and that is somebody else. That's why all the problems come. So that's why they are creating the caste. And even if caste is dying out, they will not let it die because they want to have the group to protect themselves. Because they are saying, I am different than you are. So if you know everywhere it is Bhagavan existing, then this will not. So we have to apply ourselves to Bhagavan's people. With Bhagavan's Bhakti, we need to go.
जो शरीर के हृदय में आत्म तत्व तो एक ही है लेकिन अपने अपने कर्म से वो तत्वों पर जो आवरण हो जाता है किसी को सत्व का आवरण होता है किसी को तामस का रजस का या शाम रक्त श्वेत तेलो तो ये सब तत्वों पर जो आवरण हो जाता है उनसे उन जीवात्मा की जो जो स्थिति ब्राह्मण में होती है क्षत्रिय में होती है शुक्र में होती है वैश्य में होती है ऐसा महाराज जी ने कई जगह पर लिखा है तो इसलिए मैं आपको तो यह ऐसा कुछ आप पर
Thank you. Thank you, sir. So it very clearly says that all of us by birth are Shudra, Hunter yes. Shudra. But then when the Yagnopur Sanskar is given, sacred thread ceremony is given, then he becomes weaker. He is taking birth second time. Then Sanskar means the Veda Vyasa and Bhavan Vikram. Then when he does Veda Dhyam or the studies of the Vedas, etc., then he becomes Vipra. <coughs> then the one who tries to know the supreme power of the God, of the God, he becomes Brahmin. So, by birth, Brahmin is not the Brahmin. By karma, he is the Brahmin. Now, my actual question was that they look into the present scenario, political situation. Of course, which is very delicate. On one side, the government and the society is trying to remove the caste. And for the what purpose, now what they are doing, they are taking votes from the minorities, for the downtrodden, and thereby, <coughs> see, those communities are becoming more active. So what I personally subconsciously believe that what Lord Krishna has said, once again that four caste systems might come back. <coughs> Let me come back later when people have got the intellectual capacity to understand it. Let me come back later. Now it is only by creating fear. You are belonging to this group and this group is being attacked. So therefore, all of you get together and support me, I will protect you. That's not that. This is like what the Saudis do. If you come and give me money, I will protect you this area for you. Like that, that's right.